Hello, this is Pastor Roland. Checking in to see how you're doing. Hope you're doing well. A lot of you aren't doing so well. You've got a lot of issues, a lot of challenges, as they say. Well, I um, want to mention a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to be on vacation, uh, which means that uh, I'm not going to be around a lot. I'm going to be checking my emails every after every morning and every afternoon but as far as being available for a free chat or something like that I'm only going to be available maybe one hour in the afternoon like from um, maybe 1 30 to 2 30 um, Pacific Daylight Savings Time okay so it's not very much maybe a little in the morning 7 30 to 8 something like that but I'm basically not around not going to be around I will be answering prayer requests okay and I want to say something very important and that is this a lot of you are not in good shape at all you got serious issues okay and spiritually you're not in good shape either now um, time's a wasting okay you don't want to waste any time so you might as well get started refinding your way back to God. See, you're separate from God. Okay? For a lot of reasons. First of all, um, you just are. So you got to find Him. Okay? Christ said, Blessed are they that seek, seek, for they shall find. You have to seek for Him. If you don't seek for Him, okay, you need to seek for Him. Now, here's the, th the good news is if I'm not around for um, um, free chat or something, that's, that's, that's very actually good news because a lot of the questions that come in aren't so good anyway. I'll be honest with you. They're not so good. So you're better off coming to my site, my website, and maybe going to the YouTube videos, for example. I've got over, th I've got over 300 now. Almost 300 on the pastor, um, the ones about religion, and I've also got a whole bunch of them on relationships, over 300. So any good question that you have, how do I get saved? How do I forgive and forget? How do, how do, how do I find God? Does God listen to prayers? How do I pray better? What is salvation? What's the meaning of life? You know, does God allow U-turns, which he does? You know, how do I find God? What is repentance? You know, how can I be a better mom? See, my kids are rebelling. Why are they rebelling? Something is wrong. They're rebe they would, if there was nothing to rebel against, they wouldn't rebel. See. So... For example, your relationship is not good with your husband or your wife. Well, see, you've got to you've you've got to get back to some basics. You got to f know how to find God. You got to get closer to Him. You got to be sorry for the things that you've done, mainly hating other people and judging them, resenting other people. See, you've done a lot of that. Maybe you hated your mom or hated your dad. Or, see, things like that. Being phony with people. See, being impatient with your children, things like that. So y you need a lot. So, so what's the best thing you can do? Maybe um, go to the YouTube video. See, a lot of people they can watch a YouTube video. Nowadays, people are, are so uh, I don't know how to say it. They're so distracted. They can hardly sit still for a half-hour radio program anymore. Go go to my YouTube. I've see I've got everything. Salvation prayer, repentance, finding God, all these wonderful, wonderful topics, and many, many, many more, proving be, being a better husband, how to be, being a better wife, and so on, how to become more patient with the children, all these very important questions, okay, I've got them on YouTube, so you go to the YouTube, just go look through the YouTube. Um, um, I've got a lot of them. Just start going down the list, and there's one that looks like it might be interesting, and, and watch it. 
A lot of them are two minutes long, five minutes long, eight minutes long, okay? But there you get to hear something good. And if you don't know which one, then just pick any one of them because they're all good, okay? I'll be honest with you. They're all good. Could get you started. They say faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It's probably good if you hear hear me or see one of my videos and listen, watch and listen. Or you go to my radio programs. They're excellent. If you don't want to watch a video, listen to my radio, one of my radio programs. Just about every one is a jewel. I'll be honest with you. A jewel. One program could be all you need to get started. Okay? And then, of course, the meditation. I talk about meditation on just about every single one of my programs. Well, every, every single one of my programs. And then on most of my YouTube videos, I mention it. I tell you where to go, how to get it. It's free. Okay? Listen to some of my radio programs. All right, so that's what I wanted to say. I think that's a real good message. I want to read you something from the Bible. This is John 4, verse um, 23 and 24. Jesus is speaking to the woman at the well. Very famous story. Okay. And he says, the hour... This is the King James. I love the King James. First of all, it's public domain, so I can, you know, read it anytime I want to or uh, write, use it. Beautiful English. Sometimes I make it more a little modern, you know, but I want to keep it in, in the King James right now. So here we go. John 4, verse 23. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay. It's very beautiful. See, we are spiritual beings. We're a, we're a soul in a body. See, you're not your body. You are your soul. And you have a body. Your body gets you from point A to point B. And with your body, you can see things and hear things and uh, do things with your hands. See? Get it, move around. But we are spiritual being. We're part, part spiritual and part ephemeral and part material. We're the crew. Jewel of creation. Beings created in God's image. He created us in his image and likeness. Okay, there's a cute little story. I don't know if you heard it or not. Cute, you know, kids. Cute little story. Little girl's drawing a picture. And the mom comes over and says, what are you drawing? She says, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the mom says, well, nobody has seen it. Nobody knows what God looks like. She says, now they will. Okay. She's drawing God undoubtedly as a man. Okay. Well, she's very close. Very, very close. Because he is our father. How many times did Jesus say, our father or my father? Okay. So you need to find your father. The father you've never known. All you've known is your earth father and he failed you he wasn't there for you but no one was there for them for him either when he was a little boy see he needed guidance and people would be patient with him and to teach him the way and no one was there for him either see so he did did the best he could so don't hate him forgive him okay but don't let your resentment of your earthly father. He did, He stood in. See, fathers stand for God. In the eyes of children, father stands in for God. So most fathers, earthly fathers, don't do a very good job, do they? So what? Then we resent them. Okay? So here's the thing. Don't resent your father. Forgive him. Okay? The world was too much for him. Life was too much. Your mom was too much for him. He couldn't handle things. And Maybe he did the best he could, so forgive him. If you forgive your earthly father, let go of the resentment. Then your heart can open to receive the love of your heavenly father, okay? All right.
so go to those YouTube videos watch some of them this is my program try the meditation change your you know change your life for the better you know it says in the Bible I has not seen nor ear heard what God has prepared for those who love him you have no idea see all you've known is uh, you've heard words about Jesus and about God and about religion but you've never known it. see well that's okay so that's honest see you thought you did but it really wasn't the real thing okay well fine so that's honest so now continue looking keep searching okay keep searching my name is pastor Rowan